You don't feel good enough, do you? You can't be yourself. You're terrified of getting rejected. Uh, you're embarrassed about being terrified of getting rejected and you're embarrassed about not being able to be yourself. So you're hiding away, aren't you? You can run, but you can't hide. You don't feel loved. You're frightened that um, girls are not going to love you. You're frightened your family might not love you. Your friends are not going to love you. You're afraid to, uh, you're afraid to have an opinion. You are actually afraid to be yourself. You're afraid to live. You're afraid to do the things that you want to do. And, um, and part of you is, uh, is happy doing that because it's safer. It's safer staying there because when you stay there, you can't take the, rule, the full repercussions of experience uh, emotional rejection or the perception of emotional rejection. You can't be uh, caught out so they can't say, ah, he's shy or he's insecure or he's afraid or he doesn't want to get rejected. You feel like everyone's watching you. But another part of you knows that's not true. Another part of you is massively creative. Another part of you knows that you can't be rejected by anyone but yourself. Another part of you is, um, is extremely loving, wants to connect with everyone. But the two of you um, are, in, um, are in conflict. There's two of you talking and you're living with two people. The voice in your head, which is the one that tells you, no, 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 you mustn't be yourself. They, they wouldn't accept you. You can't be like that here. This, this, these rules don't apply here, not in this house. And then the other side saying, but uh, I want to be me, let me be me. This feels right, this is who I am. People should accept me for who I am. Right, I want to talk about why you can never get rejected by women, why you can never get rejected by anyone, only by yourself. I know when I, when I first started uh, in learning with dating, or let's just say when I first became socially aware of how to behave uh, in public around people, just you know, day to day living, massive social anxiety, uh, a lot of social awkwardness, a lot of anger, a lot of insecurity, a lot of confusion, a lot of paranoia. Uh, the two voices, the two people in me, uh, the authentic self that was terrified to, to express and also, you know, and then the other guy who just behaved himself, just do what you're told, just be yourself, uh, behave yourself, sorry. And I lived like that for many years and, it, and, it's, and I'll be honest with you, it's a fucking nightmare. It's horrible, uh, it's frustrating, uh, it's, it's, you know, you're basically living a lie. But, I want to explain why you're probably living like that and why you're probably feeling like that and why you've never really been honest with yourself and looked in the mirror and admitted it or even told a friend. You just kept it to yourself. It's like the best kept secret, but the worst kept secret. When I was, when I was 21 years of age, uh, I'd never had sex with a girl. At 16 years of age, uh, a girl liked me and I took her into a park in London Hyde Park and she took her clothes off, she wanted to have sex with me and I got nervous, I couldn't do it, so I couldn't deal with it. So that negative experience at 16, it really affected my uh, sexual confidence of women and also affected my social confidence, uh, you know, and also being bullied at school, but that's another story. So I felt rejected. I felt rejected by her. Although she went to sleep with me, I couldn't perform and I was terrified to ever put myself in that position again. So from 16 to 21, so 16 to 18, 19, five years I spent hiding, hiding from women. So any time a girl showed any interest in me, I put it away. I always rejected women because I was so afraid of experiencing that emotional trauma, I couldn't deal with it. So 21 years of age thinking, fucking hell, Johnny, get a move on, you're still a virgin. Most of my friends had slept with girls, I hadn't. A friend of mine, I won't say his name, it's not important now, but um, I love the guy anyway, but it doesn't matter. He, um, I spoke about it, he was a virgin, and I said, let's go to a prostitute, which we did. I'll be honest with you, at the time, it was a massive relief. Now, looking back, you can beg to differ, was it the right thing to do, was it the wrong thing? I wouldn't advocate you know, seeing prostitutes, you don't need to when you learn the stuff I teach. However, those feelings were invoked by that experience at 16 years of age. I can laugh about it now, it's fucking ridiculous not being able to get an erection. I couldn't give a shit, I've slept with enough girls to, you know, I've had my experiences so I don't really care. I can tell the story now, I can bring it out in the open and I can share it with the whole world on YouTube. So, that experience made me terrified to be myself, because I thought, like when I was myself with that 16 year old girl and she wanted to have sex with me, it fell apart. So not being myself meant not taking chances, not initiating things. And when I say not being yourself, I mean living a life that a complete lie, living a complete lie. It, being on Job Seekers Allowance, uh, being quite a violent person, being very reactive, 
being around people that I didn't really trust, my friends, not all of them, definitely not all of them, not Floyd, there's loads of good friends I have, but a few people, and uh, as well as that, probably didn't really trust myself, but didn't really trust people, didn't, was afraid of getting hurt. Now, I don't know the full ins and outs of the psychology in, in, in Freudian thought, but I'm sure it's a fear of not being loved or a fear of being abandoned or being rejected and so forth. So that comes from an experience and that's done now. Now my experience have changed. I've had many good sexual experiences, crazy ones, taking girls straight from the street, straight home for sex, had sex with three girls in one week, been on 14 dates in two weeks, um, you know, just been in, in a situation of fucking abundance. And boy, do I deserve it. I know I deserve it. I'm very happy about it because um, I really challenged my fears and I got tired of putting you know, a social act on, as it were, and not being myself. So now I realize I can never get rejected by a woman. And this, this is not me attacking women. This is not me saying, I, I fucking love women. Women change my life. I'm just saying, for the metaphor, when guys say, I'm terrified of getting rejected or how do I not get rejected? You can't because you can't be rejected. You can only reject yourself. So for example, if I talk to a girl on the street and she says, I'm not interested in you, Johnny. Bye. Have a nice day, no hard feelings. I don't feel rejected because I fucking like myself and I like who I am and I like being myself and I'm okay with it. You know, you can't get every single woman you go for. Not every woman can have me. <laughs> They're going to be gutted. So I reject women sometimes. I meet them and I decide she's not for me. I like her, but I don't want to get involved with her. You know, I don't want to hurt her feelings or I prefer this girl. It's just a change of choice, but I'm not rejecting them. I can't reject them. You can only reject yourself. And when I realized that, that's when I got very excited and that's when I actually started building confidence. I'm not talking fucking artificial bollocks to pick up stuff where you're faking it and you're being someone you're not. I'm talking, I've really felt in my own body I could be myself. And again, it's, um, and it's even been, you know, accepting being a bit socially awkward because I'm quite a naturally socially awkward person. You guys can probably tell that's why you resonate with my stuff, but that works for me. I, I work from that frame, but I'm still being myself. So what I want to say to you is, women can't reject you. You can only reject yourself. So if you've had bad experiences, if you couldn't get your dick up hard, you know, if a girl turned you down, if she didn't text you back, you can't get rejected. You can only reject yourself. And when you get this realization, you don't hate women. You don't hate people, you love women, you, you appreciate them. I know it sounds a bit cheesy, and if I, if I made this video when I was in my 20s, I would have said, who is that pussy, who is that guy, and all that. But it don't matter now, I'm, I'm here now, and this is who I am at this moment in time. So, I promise you, mate, you can't get rejected. I still love you, I do love you. And when I say I love you, I'm actually talking to my younger self, because I would have said that if I go back. And I love you as well, you can't be rejected. But what you can be is, you can, uh, you can not be yourself. You can continue living the life you're living now, which is probably not being sociable enough, not taking any chances, studying a degree that you don't give a shit about, that you don't, you're not passionate about. It might be, I don't know, you might be studying history and you hate history, you want to be a boxer. Or maybe you're hanging around with people that are not you, they're taking drugs or, you know, they're not willing to grow and you don't want to be around them, but you've got no choice because that, who else are you going to hang around? But you've got massive choice, you've got loads of choice. You can change it now, I did it. And it, all it takes is, is making a psychological decision, it's time to be myself. So when I say in my videos, be myself, I don't just mean with what you say to a woman, that's just the surface base. I mean, be myself through the whole way I live my life. So if you don't like smoking and alcohol, don't drink alcohol and don't smoke. If you're gonna be around people who are doing that, they've got to appreciate that you don't want to join them on that. And if they're good friends, they'll understand. If they don't, you've got to get rid of them. So I really just want to explain that you can't get rejected. Now for the guys who say, that's not true because you know you can get rejected. That's just the perception of society. Society says you can't go out and meet women on the street, but I've been doing it for almost 10 years. And I tell women the truth, and that's how I have sex to them. And they love me, they want to be with me because they don't meet many honest guys. So whether I'm honest on the street, or I'm honest in the coffee shop, or I'm honest at the party, it doesn't really matter where I am, where I teach, because I'm just being truthful and being honest. And if a girl does turn me down, quote unquote reject me, I don't feel bad because I'm being the best version of myself, whether that's me on a day where I feel great, whether, whether that's me on a day where I don't feel like socializing, I'm pushing it up, I'm still being me. I'm still saying what I want to say. So what I'm saying on camera now is what I really want to say, it's what's going on in my head. I'm not saying what I think I should say on the camera to get you to like me or to not get rejected. I don't give a fuck about rejection because most of my life in my 20s, I was rejected anyway, I didn't want to live. I didn't want to be around people. I wasn't happy with myself, I was massively insecure. But another part of me was really confident, really charismatic, and that was who I truly was. And that's who you truly are. And I believe in you more than you believe in yourself. 
because I've mentored hundreds of guys and I'm a fucking excellent coach. I can look in the camera and say that. I've got reviews all over the internet. I've changed guys' lives because I made the change of myself and it's so easy to make it on others. So you can't get rejected. And every time guys write to me and say, I got rejected, you didn't get rejected. You're not being yourself. Now, if you don't understand that, you need to go out, you need to socialize more, you need to get more experience, and you need to get what I call artificial rejection. Girls not wanting to have a chat with you, or not texting you back, or when you go to kiss them, they pull away, or they might not want to sleep with you, but it's okay, because you've just got to stick with it. Once you become yourself, you cannot get rejected, trust me. I never feel rejected. The only thing I feel sometimes is, I'm not fulfilling my potential. But that's not being dishonest, that's just lacking a bit of motivation. But I can't get rejected. I've got family that love me. I've got friends that love me. I've got women that love me. I love myself. I never used to. Now I do. And I love you guys. I really appreciate you following me. And I'm going to continue speaking my mind, putting stuff out. And if people attack me for it, fuck them. I don't care because I'm putting out the truth. My job is not to offend people. It's to inspire people to make them make changes. But if people don't like my stuff, they don't need to watch it. Sorry for swearing, I got a bit passionate there. But my message is, you cannot get rejected by women. You, you make the decisions. If I talk to a woman and she says, I'm not interested in you, Johnny, and I don't feel rejected, I, I, I can't be rejected. And I talk to another woman, I connect with her, and I go to bed with her, and she's my girlfriend or whatever. How could this girl reject me? This girl doesn't even know me, she just met me for five seconds. Most girls need, a, you know, most girls need a, at least six months to really get to know a person. So if you're in a bar, if you're in a coffee shop and you talk to a girl, she didn't reject you, it's just an objection, she doesn't really understand you. And if you feel rejected, it's because you're massively insecure and you need, to, you need to inquire into that. You need to understand that I'm still massively insecure, but I'm more secure with being insecure. Everyone you see in the world is insecure. We just learn how to hide it, whether it's the banker in the suit, whether it's the doctor with the brief face, whether it's the, the presenter on television, whether it's the celebrity, everyone's massively insecure. But what pisses me off is no one wants to be honest about it. Everyone wants to put on an act. And, and underneath the act, we're all, that's not how we connect. Because every woman I've ever met is massively insecure. And once I can get them to admit that, that's when we connect. Now, I'm not saying we should run around saying I'm massively insecure. Maybe we should, all I'm saying is we need to be a lot more human. We need to be ourselves. We need to stop living in fear. We need to accept fear. We need to accept that, you know, that not everyone's going to like us, but it doesn't really matter because once you're honest with yourself, you don't need to worry about anyone else and you can be secure in yourself and then you feel truly confident. So I'm massively confident, massively confident women. I'm amazing with women, but on another side, I'm fucking frightened as you are. I'm always worried I might not say the right thing, I might not show up, the next guy might be better in bed than me, he might have a bigger dick than me, he might be more charismatic than me, he might have more money than me, he might be better than me, but that's, I accept that. Because I know that's not really who I really am. That's just the fucking messages on the media and all the other stuff and on television. But that's not really the reality. I fucking absolutely love women from the bottom of my heart. I've met so many amazing women. Women have helped me to get where I am. My friends have helped me. My critics have helped me. Thank you very much. I'm not going to say your names, but guys are writing stuff on forums about me saying I'm a fake, I'm a fraud. That's fine. I know the truth. The guys I work with know the truth. I know I'm not a fraud. I used to be a fraud. I used to be a fraud. So if you're attacking me, it's because you're attacking what's in yourself, what you're not, you can't look at, so you project onto me. It's fine, I can take it. I expect it, I'm on camera. I embrace it, I go forward. I wanna grow, I wanna learn, I wanna put the truth out. I'm gonna continue to put the truth in the spire out. I can never get rejected by women, you can never get rejected. Like and subscribe, enjoy the process, get to know yourself, inquire, be yourself, accept, we're all insecure. Find security in insecurity, enjoy the process.